pet supplies available online at petland.ca. Hey everyone and welcome to Critter Care. Today, Robert and I are chatting about, I'm gonna get you to say the name because I, I don't know if I'm gonna get it right. Well, they've got a few different names, but the whole name, I guess, could be Mexican Blind Cave Tetra. And uh, quite a fascinating fish. No these, kidding. These are fish that live in deep, deep caves in Mexico uh, in the complete absence of light wow. so they live in pitch blackness so you're like a fish swimming along oh there's a cave I'll go down there oh I'm lost oh but I'm gonna have babies oh and then 5,000 years later there's all these uh, all the pigment has gone away from them so they're really? complete albino and their eyes have completely de-evolved out of their body because they're completely uh, unnecessary they have, however, evolved a very highly developed lateral line, which is that line that fish have down their side, and that can detect motion. Okay. Uh, so they really adapted to this living in a cave, um, and uh, and they also have like four or five times the number of taste buds, all kind of all over their head. So they can they can really detect food when the when the food is available. So quite a, just just a really weird oddball kind of fish that if you were going to have them in your aquarium you'd want to have them in a maybe a, a bit more of an, an aggressive like a, a tank or or more active fish mm -hmm. because with slow swimming fish they might they can't see nothing so they just they'll just go after anything uh, so you want to be a little bit careful about who you put them with and I know you mentioned kind of how they evolve but how would a blind fish survive against predators? And to me, that would be so important. I guess down in the caves, they don't have a ton of predators. Yeah, I, I think they just do a lot of bumping into walls. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're just, they're from the caves and they got no eyes, they're albinos, lateral line, and they survive and they're, and they're quite a robust little fish to keep in your tank. So, so and we've got them kind of here behind us, but we've got like the, uh, it's lit. So it's yes. okay if they're in light, that still works? I, I, that was uh, something that I wondered about as well, but they don't seem to, to sunburn. They don't, none of that seems to happen. They seem to do just fine in light. <laughs> <laughs> You get me on that one. Eh? I know. Uh, All, right. All right. Okay, Robert, <laughs> thanks so much for your advice. And if you are thinking of getting a fish or any kind of other pet, it's very important to do your research first. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Critter Care. Pet supplies available online at petland.ca. No one imagines their new pet will wind up abandoned or unwanted. All pets need and deserve protection. Other provinces in Canada have regulated breeders, kennels, pet stores, and animal shelters. Together, they are working to ensure the animals they offer are healthy and placed in caring homes that want them. What is your province or town doing? Find out how you can help safeguard pets where you live. Visit www.pjackcanada.com. PJAC Canada, helping our industry care for your pets.